Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin. You have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system, a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And don't forget to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can get all your products at the wholesale price and start yourself a longevity business if you like, or you can just get your products at the wholesale price. If you're an entrepreneur, you're entrepreneurially minded, and you want to start a business and earn some spare income, supplemental income, or full-time income if you so desire... Click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. This is a business opportunity that's a win-win, win-win business opportunity. We win when we participate. It's a great way to make some money, great way to work out of your home, great way to enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, and it's a win for your consumer because they get great nutritional products, life-changing nutritional products, and not just products, but strategies, ideas, lifestyle issues. Longevity is not just about products. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on at Longevity. And if you're in the San Diego area, by the way, you might want to check out the annual convention. If you're part of Longevity or even if you're not, you might want to check it out. You can find out all about the Longevity products and the Longevity business at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for more information. So... Welcome back to The Bright Side. We're talking about glyconutrients, glyconutrition, one of the hottest fields of study in all of nutrition, glyconutrition. There's thousands of studies out on glyconutrition now. Glyconutrients are the most abundant glyco, I should say polysaccharides, are the most abundant of the organic compounds on planet Earth, the, the biochemicals, if you will, on planet Earth, biological chemicals. One of the best sources of... Uh, Now, these polysaccharides are marine creatures, ocean creatures. Polysaccharides have an interesting electrical property. They absorb water. They uh, they change their electrical nature as they react with water. They're very reactive with water. So it kind of makes sense that that they would live in the ocean, that the ocean would be an abundant place to find polysaccharides, to bioprospect, as they call it. They call bioprospecting. Uh, when they're looking for chemicals in the ocean, bio, to bioprospect uh, polysaccharides, medicinal polysaccharides, because these things have highly medicinal properties, a lar- in large part because of their, their uh, conformity, their ability to conform to water, their ability to react with water, I should say. Algaes, we talked about algaes yesterday. Algaes live on top of the ocean. The top of the ocean is the most energy-intense part of the planet, planet Earth. The top of the ocean's got all kinds of things happening. It's hit, being hit by the sun, first of all. The sun and, and uh, the, the uh, minerals, the electrolytes that are found in the water, in the salt water of the ocean, react. And then you have algae on the top that act like little batteries that store the electrical energy and that, or the photonic energy and actually convert it into electrical energy. The algae are where, that live on the top of the ocean, they're where the... Uh, 
the sun gets turned into matter. That's, that's about as close a definition to magic as I can come up with, in, at least in terms, of bi- in terms of biology. That's biological magic right on top of the ocean. You've got these algae that live on top of the ocean. They suck up the sun. They convert the sun's energy, the photons that come from the sun, into electrons, into matter. That's what electrons are. Photons are light and electrons are matter. And this photon to electron is a light to matter, light to stuff, chemical reaction. They call it the photoelectric effect. Albert Einstein studied the photoelectric effect. That was one of his big things. Oxygen is released. That oxygen feeds the earth with oxygen. It feeds the entire planet the oxygen. It's like the surface of the planet is a transducing device that turns the sun into the earth. That's amazing right there. The surface, of, and not just the ocean either, by the way. The grass does it too. The whole Earth's surface, the grass on the terrestrial part and on the, on the dirt part and the seaweed or the algae on the ocean part are like a transducing device that turn the sun into the Earth. The sun, in this way, everything comes from the sun. The sun is the father. The sun is the father of everyone. Let that one, let that one sink in for a little bit. Through the, the sun is the father of everything that exists through the intermediary force of the Earth and the water. The Earth and the water are like a womb that grow the baby. That's everything that comes out of it. That's the Holy Trinity right there. The Father, which is energy, the sun. The representation of energy, which is, uh, which is the earth, including the water. And, uh, and then everything that comes out of it. The sun, the child. And that makes seaweed and grass. I don't mean to get all theological here, but it's kind of interesting. In any case, seaweed and grass are very powerful, very significant. They have a lot of roles to play when it comes to health and when it comes to nutrition. And they are... Uh, seaweed and grass are the most unprocessed sources of pure energy on the planet. All other foods are processed. Even meat is processed by the animal. Fish is processed by the animal. Dairy, eggs, these are all processed. They're not artificially processed or or synthetically processed, but they're processed nonetheless. The most uh, unprocessed sources of pure energy are going to be algae and seaweed and grass. Now, we can't eat grass. That's, we've lost the ability, human beings have lost the ability to get nutritional value from grass or don't have the ability. I don't know if we ever had it. Animals can do it. Uh, ruminants can do it. They have to have a second stomach to do it. On the other hand, algae are not pure plant. Grass is pure plant. It has a, if you look at the cell of a plant, of, a, of grass, it has a little wall around it. Human cells, or animal cells, I should say, have a membrane. They don't have a wall. A plant cell has a wall around the membrane, and that makes it very difficult to access the nutrients. It's like vegetables. You got to really work hard to digest vegetables. That's one of the reasons why people don't like to eat their vegetables, unless they're mushy. We don't mind mushy vegetables, but the hard vegetables, people don't necessarily, sometimes we don't, a lot of people don't like to eat them. On the other hand, algae is not a plant, really. Algae is part plant. But it's also part animal or part bacteria. Chlorella is part animal. Spirulina is part bacteria. And so uh, the algaes and the seaweeds, their nutrients are much more readily accessible. And we can definitely benefit from eating those. And we definitely should be eating those. Seaweed and algae. And consumption of seaweeds has been linked to lower incidences of almost all chronic degenerative diseases. It's because you're eating pure energy. You're eating as close to pure energy as you can get, I should say. It's still trapped, but it's as close to pure energy as you're going to find on the planet is in seaweed. That makes seaweed really important. And that's why cancer rates go down when people eat seaweed. Heart disease goes down when people eat seaweed. Autoimmunity, uh, autoimmune issues go down. Weight management, because uh, seaweeds have been used for weight management, for diabetes, for metabolic syndrome, for bone health, for digestive health. Pretty much every single health issue you can name is going to improve when you eat seaweed. And the stuff is the most abundant stuff on the planet. That is so amazing to me. Eating seaweed. They're a true, true power food. You get everything in seaweed. You get protein in seaweed. You get vitamins in seaweed. You get minerals in seaweed. You get electrolytes in seaweed. You get good fats in seaweed, essential fatty acids in seaweed. And on top of everything else, seaweed is the ultimate or an ultimate source of these glycocalyx building sugars that we've been talking about for so long. Amazing stuff, seaweed. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this.
Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Try to call in early. Yesterday, everybody called in at the last minute. I couldn't get to, we could only get to one call. Try to call in early if you've got questions or comments. Love You don't have to have a question, by the way. You don't have to have a health challenge. If you have a health challenge, for sure, we welcome your phone calls, but you don't have to have a health challenge if you want to comment on something or if you have a personal experience you'd like to share. 844-236-6010 is our number. Just make it interesting. Make it a good take, as they say. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. If you're interested in checking out the Longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to check out our True Skin Health products, if you've got uh, skin that's getting a little ragged looking, it's probably malnourished. And when, we're, when we are nutritionally deficient, and most of us are, unless you really, really understand how to supplement correctly or you're on the Longevity products, if uh, you're nutritionally deficient in, say, vitamin C or vitamin A, your skin is going, to, your body's going to pull the vitamin C or the vitamin A or the essential fats or whatever uh, the nutrient is away from your skin towards the center of your body, and you're going to end up deficient in the skin, which is why you want to use topical nutrition. Topical nutrition can help bypass some of the some of the uh, the signs of malnourishment, skin malnourishment. Topical vitamin C, for example, is literally stored in the skin. When you put fat soluble vitamin C, it has to be fat soluble, like the kind you get in our true treatment products. Fat soluble vitamin C on the skin. Over the course of time, that vitamin C is literally stored. It has there's a reservoir of vitamin C that you get in the skin, and that's what you're looking for. You want to be packed. You want your skin packed with nutrients, and the best way to do that is to have a Apply truth treatments regularly to your skin. That is daily. They're made with mega high doses of vitamin C, and, and if you use our retinol, high doses of retinol as well. TruthTreatments.com is the website. Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Transdermal C Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine. Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream for anti aging, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and now our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist made with plant derived fulvic electrified. Soil Minerals, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking seaweed, and if you can't tell, I'm absolutely blown away by these things. Always have been. Just the idea that you can, uh, that the most abundant thing on the planet is also the most nutritionally active thing on the planet. I find that very, very fascinating and very interesting. There's hundreds of different types of seaweed. Bladder, uh, racks, they call them, W-R-A-C-K, kelp. They're called as well. You've heard of, you probably heard of some of these things. Nori, that's the kind you get in sushi. Uh, kombu, arame. There's all, hundreds of these things. Japanese, they all have Japanese names apparently, because the Japanese uh, were they were they live on the ocean and they uh, had very small, uh, very small island, and but they had lots of ocean. And so they got to really appreciating seaweed. And all the research actually is done by Japanese researchers on seaweed. And there's a lot of research on seaweed, as I was saying before we went to break. Uh, all, pretty much all chronic degenerative diseases can be reduced by consumption of seaweed. A true power food loaded with everything you want. In a, loaded with, it's like a supplement. It's a food slash supplement, seaweed is. And it's a great source of uh, glycocalyx building sugars. One in particular which stands out in particular, and one we talk about in this program, is fucose or fucoidin. Fucose is a basic building block. Fucose is the sugar, and fucose, uh, fucose is the fundamental building block of something called fucoidin, which is one of, if not the most, well-studied of all the essential polysaccharide sugars, fucoidin. It's made up of an essential sugar known as fucose, and uh, like all polysaccharides, it has a slimy quality, and it's found in seaweed. Seaweed is one of nature's best sources of fucoidin, particularly brown seaweed or brown algae. Remember, the function of these sugar trees, these glycocalyx sugars, is protection. Complex sugars always make slime when they contact water. That's why seaweed is slimy. It's the slime of seaweed in the ocean, as anybody who's you know, scooped some seaweed out in the ocean knows, it has a slimy quality. That is the sugars. And there's sometimes some associated proteins in there. The protein sugar combinations are called proteoglycans. And those also have some pretty powerful properties. Hyaluronic acid is like that. We'll talk about that here. I've been meaning to talk about that one. That one's an amazing substance. A hyaluronic acid, one of the most amazing substances in all of biochemistry. Uh, but anyway, complex sugars, polysaccharides, and seaweed make the seaweed have a sort of slimy quality. And that slimy quality... 
that mucousy quality is part of the uh, is part of the protective uh, uh, part of the protective function of the glycocalyx. It kind of repels uh, bad guys, repels bacteria and other microorganisms. The the slimy quality, the polysaccharides have a negative charge. When you see slime, you're looking at negative charges. That slimy quality with, uh, is, is that negative charge is really how uh, that slimy negative charge is really what gives the glycocalyx sugars like fucoidin such powerful properties, whether it's on a cell or whether it's in seaweed. The posit, uh, bad, uh, bacteria, the bad guys, microorganisms, microbes, as they say, tend to have positive charges. There's a repelling that happens. The negative charge of the mucus repels the, uh, the, the bad guys, the bacteria. The slimy sugars also facilitate movement, the flow of things, the flow of, uh, of, uh, of cells. So the slimy sugars have, a, have an ability to kind of lubricate cells as they move. Fucoidin is a classic example of these uh, slimy sugars. Fucoidin is found in the Fucoid Z as well as the Z radical for longevity. And if you know anything about Fucoidin, the Fucoid Z or the, uh, or the uh, Z radical, you know that they're tremendously multifunctional. They have all kinds of health benefits. And the reason they have all kinds of health benefits is because they're working at this very fundamental level, the, fun, the level of the cell, the level of the glycocalyx. And it makes fucoid, the fucoid Z and, and uh, the Z radical, in my opinion, after the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, probably the most important of all the longevity products, the fucoid Z and the, and the Z radical. The Z radical is a, uh, is a liquid beverage. I don't like that as much as the fucoid Z. The fucoid Z is a capsule. Fucoid Z has nutrients in it, has, is just nutritional value. The other stuff's a beverage. It's good. It's a good little tonic. It's tasty. Either way, both the products are packed with fucoidin, which, as you now know, is a very, very functional member of the glycocalyx. And fucoidin's health benefits are legendary. There's all kinds of papers written on fucoidin for all kinds of things, particularly the immune system. The slimy quality. Fucoidin has that slimy quality. When you think slime, think immunity. And also lubricity. The, it helps lubricate the movement of, uh, of, of, of really the movement of red blood cells. That makes it, it's actually a blood tonic. And that's what gives it its multi, multifunctional benefits. It has all kinds of health benefits. And you know, if you know anything about me uh, and, and my uh, philosophy of, of um, supplementation is I'm always looking for multifunctionality. That's why I like nutrients so much is because they're multifunctional. Drugs are not multifunctional. Drugs will give you side effects. Nutrients will give you beneficial effects. So fucoidin has got fucoidin has all of these multifunctional benefits. It's good for so many different things. It's a blood thinner. It's an immune booster. It helps stimulate the production of connective tissue. It's anti-aging. All of these health benefits derive from the fact, largely from the fact, that it supports the flow of blood. The electrical nature of, of the circulatory system is supported. As blood moves through, as blood cells move through the blood and as blood moves through the body, it's generating an electrical charge. And this is one of the ways, maybe the most important way, that our body runs. Our body is generating electrical charge as the blood is circulating. When the blood clots up, when we get sick, that's what happens when we get sick, our blood clots up, or when our blood is dirty, we don't generate as much of this electrical charge. It's called zeta potential. That's the technical name for that electrical charge, zeta potential. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, comment, or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, and we'll get your calls here in just a moment. Please check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com and all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, we'll get your calls just a momento. A couple of uh, couple stories I want to read here. This is from the Mayo Clinic. Home remedies, controlling and managing your blood pressure. Lifestyle changes can help you control and prevent high blood pressure. I've been saying this for years. High blood pressure does not require beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, antihypertensive drugs, which are among the most deadly and toxic of all drugs. Hypertension needs to be regarded as a lifestyle issue first and foremost. You may have some metabolic things going on, and that's definitely something you want to address. Blood sugar especially, elevated cortisol. But uh, 
there's so many things we could do with Lysol. By the way, high blood pressure is now, uh, there's new, gu- new guidelines for high blood pressure. It used to be one, 140 over 90. Now it's down to 130 over 80. So there's probably another 20% more human beings that are now, that are now eligible to be medicated. And if you do have high blood pressure, if you have, a, if you get diagnosed with a with a new high blood pressure score or with a high blood pressure score that meets the new guidelines, so for example, if you're at 130 over 80 two years ago, you would need, you didn't need to be medicated. Today, you, not only do you need to be medicated, but if your doctor doesn't write you a prescription, he is liable. That's called standards of care. Doctors are liable for standards of care. They have to give you, they have to at least write you a prescription for an antihypertensive if your blood, uh, blood pressure is now 130 over 80. But you don't need a drug. According to the Mayo Clinic, you can eat healthy foods. I've been saying that for years. You can maintain a healthy weight. You can increase physical activity. Here's another one you could do. You can take a hot bath. You can slow deep breathe. You can relax. You can do yoga. You can meditate. These are all wonderful ways to lower your blood pressure. And certainly, it's important to treat yourself as a diabetic. Blood sugar, elevated blood sugar, and elevated blood pressure go hand in hand. All right, I'm going to do one more here, and then we'll get your calls. 844-236-6010. Magic mushrooms might ease depression symptoms. This one is from, uh, where is this from here? Live Science, LiveScience.com. Psilocybin, the main ingredient in magic mushrooms, may soothe symptoms of depression, according to a very preliminary study. Now, there's, this is a preliminary study, but there's a lot of studies out now about mushrooms being antidepressant. Larger studies are needed to see if this positive effect can be reproduced in more patients, according to Dr. David Nutt, N-U-T-T, professor of psychopharmacology at Imperial College of London. And along the same lines from C, uh, CNN, this one just came out yesterday, uh, MDMA, the active ingredient in the banned street drug ecstasy, is safe and enhances the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. When I hear about studies like this, and there's a lot of them. A couple weeks ago, I read one about ketamine and anti, as an antidepressant. When I read about these studies of recreational drugs, drugs that are now illegal, being beneficial for as antidepressants or for dealing with PTSD, it makes me understand why people do them. Because people are depressed and people are, have PTSD. And you don't have to be an Iraqi war veteran to have PTSD. Just living in the 21st century in the United States of America, maybe around the world, could give you PTSD. So, of course, people want to do ecstasy. And, of course, people want to do mushrooms. And you can't make these things illegal, especially if they have these kinds of benefits. But people are in jail because they they have PTSD and they did ecstasy. And they don't know they have PTSD, maybe, but we do. Otherwise, we wouldn't need the drugs. We're self-medicating. That's what even recreational drugs are self-medicating. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Let's go to Don in Georgia and say good morning. How you doing, Don? Good morning. Good, good. Uh, quick uh, question. Um, yes, sir. Could you give an example, like a daily eating example, what it may look like, uh, like a stable a diet that would stabilize blood sugar? Like a breakfast, lunch, and well, dinner, or I'll give more. you an easy one. Meals. Stop eating. Okay. Don't eat. <laughs> no. Don't okay, eat. that's. I'm just kind there of being go. facetious, but intermittent fasting and calorie restriction are two very important strategies for the diabetic or for blood sugar. So I was kind of teasing, but only a little bit because keeping your calories down and fasting periodically, intermittently, is a great anti-diabetic blood sugar lowering strategy. Number two, uh, go ketogenic. That means more fat. Okay. And uh, the ketogenic diet has a couple parts, three parts to it. It's low fat, it is low carb, and it's low calorie. I'm sorry, it's high fat. Take that back. High fat, low carb, low calorie. High fat, low carb, low calorie. That's the ketogenic diet. It's got three parts to it. It's a great way to eat. So for breakfast, have a teaspoonful of coconut oil and a piece of fish. For lunch, have, some, have a, an avocado. For dinner, have a couple of eggs and some asparagus. Ketogenic diet, guaranteed to lower your blood sugar right there. Put lots of salt. Okay. Enjoy the salt. Go crazy Enjoy on the salt. The salt. Okay. Enjoy the salt. And don't, you know, you're not going to overdo the salt. Your body will tell you when to right. stop the salt. So don't, you don't right. need to go on a low salt diet. That's nonsense. What you need to do is go on a low salt processed food diet. 
But if you do the salt correctly and just salt your fish and salt your uh, and salt your eggs and salt your uh, asparagus and broccoli, whatever it is you're eating, uh, with Celtic sea salt or Himalayan salt. Now I'm I'm recommending Himalayan salt because the, the Celtic sea salt. They found little plastic particles in the Celtic sea salt. So now wow. now you got a problem. Yeah, exactly. So Himalayan salt or whatever you want to do, do a gourmet salt that's got all the minerals. Isn't that easy? Right. Very simple. You'll save yeah. so much money. You'll lose weight. Your blood pressure will drop. Your blood sugar will drop. You only need that nasty metformin drug. You only need nasty. You only need to go to the doctor to have your blood sugar checked and your H hemoglobin A one C. Blah blah blah. You just do it all on your own. All right. Don't forget the gotcha. nutrients though. Don't forget the supplements, the B vitamins, especially thiamine and also uh, niacin. And then uh, don't forget uh, minerals like selenium and sulfur and zinc. They're all important for helping lower blood sugar. Okay. okay. Thank you, Got Don. It. Take care, my man. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, Mark in Colorado. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Hey, Ben. Hey, uh, my wife got some new uh, fabric softener and um, put it on the sheets, and my skin just broke out like a teenage kid. Like Are you serious? Uh, not okay. Good, but, uh, okay. But, uh, you know, itchy rash, and I just want to know, you know, I use Get all some your zinc. stuff. I just want to know. What, you're Thanks. using the truth? Yes, I am. I actually, I'm using, I've been using your uh, regenerating retinol on my face for the past year, and it's, I look better than my wife, and she's 10 years ah, younger than me. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Good job. Good job. So you knew how to do it, huh? Did, did, did yeah, I talk to you yeah. on the phone, or you knew how to use the small amounts? How do you use it, by the way? Um, I use it every couple of days, small amount, about pea size, you know, a little bit of water to make it uh, spread easy, like butter, and it's great. I just, it just nice. really makes you feel good. Here, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a present. Send, a, send your name and your address and your phone number to requests, R-E-Q-U-E-S-T-S, requests at, truth uh -huh. treatments, at truthtreatments.com. Say you spoke to me uh -huh. on the radio and, and tell them you want your freebie. And I'm going to send you a surprise. Okay. Surprise gift. I'm going to send okay. you. I, I'll tell, I'm not going to surprise. I'll, send, I'll tell you what it is. I'm going to send you out a biomimetic mineral mist so you can use with the retinol. So what you do is put okay. a little pea-sized amount of the retinol, put a couple spritzes of the uh, biomimetic mineral mist in your hand, and then rub your hand together yeah. and get a little puddle going. And uh, I'll send that out to you. So just send a, your address and your phone number and your full name. Okay? And okay. then i got to take a commercial break, but we'll talk about your rash here when we come back. Okay? Okay. All right. Thanks, Mark. All right. We'll take a commercial break. Got lines open. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, and we will return right after this. Back on the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open. We're talking to Mark in Colorado. Hey, Mark. Yes. Mark. Okay, so uh, for, for a topical, that's called, uh, uh, that's one of the rare times that you have a topical uh, skin problem, and it can happen to things like fabric, so fabric softeners or soaps and that sort of stuff. A couple things you might want to try, zinc oxide, number one, very calming, very soothing. And then also, uh, if it gets really bad, you might want to get yourself some Benadryl. Get the capsules of Benadryl. Break open a uh, capsule. Put, a, put it in some alcohol to dissolve it. And then uh, uh, pour, put, mix in the alcohol with the zinc oxide. Kind of mix it up a little bit. And you make a, a Benadryl zinc oxide paste. And that will help calm things down. If it gets really bad, you can always take the Benadryl internally. But that will make it a little bit drowsy. Uh, so you okay. try to avoid that if you can, but uh, zinc oxide number one, or you can mix in the zinc oxide with the uh, Benadryl number two. You can also get a, a cortisone cream. Those are the kind of things where you uh, immune, where you can calm down the immune system using topical medication. And I'm not a big believer in medication uh, if you can avoid it, but when you have a condition like this, that's pretty much the only thing you could do. Okay. Yeah. It's just okay. Allergic reaction. The itching drives you crazy, but yeah, yeah I bet so it does. Uh, all right, Mark. Take care, man. Have a great day. All right, let's go to my friend Carl, the Truth Raider. What's up, Carl? How you doing, buddy? Good morning, Benjamin. I received my MRI results from my right ankle from the accident I had about five months ago. Yeah. And really, I called you in three. Remember when I called you about three, four months ago? Yes. And I said, this is this pain, this absolutely shooting pain, shot up in my foot. Uh -huh. All over my foot, like my foot was broken, and I oh, could wow. not walk on my foot for several minutes. And really? I had this electrical kind of heat and a fever ache go up through my what, leg. So what did they say? Body. What was the MRI? Severe arthritis throughout the foot is what they found in, in, in their arthritic. Uh, Carl, I've been telling you that for years. You're breaking down, buddy. 
Your okay. body's breaking down. That's an inflammation. Arthritis. Arth means joints. Itis means inflammation. Inflammation of the joints. It follows a deterioration of the joints. When the joint deteriorates, inflammation ensues. So your body's breaking okay. down. It's deteriorating. Build it up again. That's what you got to do. You got to be right. a bodybuilder. It's true for anybody who's got arthritis, and there's millions and millions. You're in good company. Many millions of people do. You got to build the body right. back up again. You do it from two directions. Arthritis is like a, okay. it's just a generic, uh, a generic way the body breaks down. It happens to be in the joints. But Alzheimer's disease is arthritis of the brain. And, uh, and uh, uh, multiple sclerosis is arthritis of the, nerves, of the nerves. I mean, you name the disease, it's all degeneration, like arthritis is de- degeneration of the joints. you got to be a bodybuilder. So what you want to do is you want to, number one, you want to attack it from two directions. Number one, you avoid the bad stuff. Sugar is number one on the list. Any kind of food, any kind of foods that you have problems with in terms of digestion, that's number two on the list. Then uh, okay. number three on the list is cort- lowering cortisol, reducing stress. Cortisol body will not heal and it will degenerate and deteriorate when cortisol levels are chronically high. So keeping your cortisol down is also going to be important. Then you attack it from the other direction and that's building. The Mighty 90 are the baseline. The Mighty 90 essential nutrients are the baseline. And then making sure you're increasing your protein, especially cartilage protein. Go get yourself some bone broth protein, longevity bone broth protein. Yeah, bone broth protein and make bone broth. Also, those polysaccharides that we've been talking about lately, aloe vera, fucoidin, mushrooms, anything you do that's got... uh, that's got these polysaccharides are also very important for building. And then you might want to start using some uh, glucosamine and gelatin capsules as well. Make sure that you're, uh, you always take your uh, gelatin and glucosamine with vitamin C. In fact, just take vitamin C a lot. Vitamin C is the rate-limiting step in the buildup of, of uh, cartilage, connective tissue. Without vitamin C, you can't make uh, connective tissue. And with less vitamin C than you need, you can't make connective tissue as effectively. So vitamin C is the number one supplement to use for arthritis. For anybody out there using glucosamine for arthritis or any highfalutin fancy supplements that don't have vitamin C or don't feature vitamin C, you're missing the boat. Vitamin C is the key vitamin for dealing with arthritis. Without vitamin C, you cannot make connective tissue, whether it's in the joints, whether it's in the bones. And by the way, vitamin C is more important than calcium for the bones and, or, or it's in the skin. That's why well, my, my true skin health products feature topical vitamin C. Hey, Carl, I want to get one more call in. Uh, anything else? Anything yeah. else going on? Yes. One, one question. Should yes. I use uh, weights or movement or use the foot? Yes. Resistance training. Absolutely. Resistance training. Okay. The body is like, use it or lose it. If it doesn't have a need to grow, it's not going to grow. Get on a rebounder okay. or, or do squats. Resistance training is the best. Rebounders are good, but resistance training is what I would be doing for building up that connective okay. tissue. All Thank right, Carl. God bless you. God Thank bless you, my friend. Bye-bye. Have a great day. All right, so Don in New York. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Yes, Ben. Question regarding the, uh, you mentioned seaweed earlier. I was wondering any form specifically, whether it's no. chlorella or... No, or, they're uh, all the same. Chlorella, chlorella. Or Irish moss. No, all of them. Do them all. Mix them up. And the best mix way to all up. mix them up, go to a health food store, an Asian market. Asian markets have all the different types of seaweed, and a lot of them are dry. They make great croutons, not croutons, but crunchy, kind of crunchy stuff on top of your salad. They're really delicious. Now they're seaweed mm. snacks. Have you seen the seaweed snacks they have now? They're t- unbelievably tasty. Right. They put spices on yeah, them. Which, yeah, it's like people don't, if you don't eat seaweed, you don't know what you're missing. It's tasty. It's super nutritious, rebuilding, anti-aging, all the benefits. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what kind of seaweed you use because they're all basically going to give you that algae. Chlorella is a cross between um, a, a plant and an animal cell, a plant cell and an animal cell, and the spirulina is a little bit more primitive. It's a cross between a plant cell and a bacterial cell, but they both are loaded with nutritional value, and it's a great idea to mix them up. There used to be a multi-level company. I don't know if they're still around called Super Blue Green Algae. Have you heard of them? This company, Super yes. Blue Green, yeah, they had, they had a, they had a, I don't know if they're still around. I haven't seen them, but they had a really nice algae product. Uh, but you can get there's all kinds of sources of spirulina and, and or all kinds of ways to get spirulina and chlorella at the health food store. There's all kinds of companies making, but they're the most abundant stuff on earth. So of course they're going to be tons of companies making the stuff. Sustained uh, just about two and a half months ago. Uh, what happened on the rotator cuff? There was a tear, not oh, no. real bad, but it was you know there was a tear there. It's Would you still, do? You know, How'd you do it? I literally just fell and uh, landed on uh, on the ice, slipped on slipped on the ice, and landed pretty hard on my left side. You know, hit my head basically, and then, uh, but uh, my head was fine. But (laughs) But they tried on my rotator cuff. So 
Is it I'm torn? I'm just wondering if there's anything in particular was, you might recommend. Oh, a ton of you know. things. ton of things. Yeah, all the seaweed's great. All the polysaccharides. High al uronic acid. You probably heard me talk about that one. High yeah. al uronic acid. The entire Mighty 90 Essential. Everything we just talked about with, with Truth Raider, actually, because you're going to be building connective tissue is, is what the strategy is there. Building connective and also muscle tissue, but mostly it's you're building connective tissue. And so um, everything for arthritis. Just treat yourself like you, as if you had arthritis. Gelatin, bone broth, bone broth protein, vitamin C, essential fats, calcium and magnesium, CalMag. Get yourself some liquid silica gel. One of the all-time great underappreciated nutritional supplements is silica. Silica is a, a precipitating agent. Other, other uh, complex tissues can build around silica. Silica is like a little seed around which more complex tissues can kind of kind of build up. So using silica is not, not just post, post uh, injury for healing. Using silica is a great anti-aging supplement. It's a little bit pricey is the only problem. Uh, there's a company called Abkit, A-B-K-I-T. And you really, if you want to do it right, you're going to spend some money on silica. But for skin, for hair, for nails, for bones, for surgical, for recovering from surgery, for, for uh, helping heal a rotator cuff or carpal tunnel syndrome, or for any kind of regeneration, tissue regeneration, arthritis, uh, it's just an invaluable nutritional supplement. Uh, let's see if there's a, a protein, of course, just, just your amino acids, glutamine, the amino acid, glutamine, the amino acid, arginine. Keep your sugar down. Sugar is the mortal enemy of connective tissue. Sugar and cigarette smoke are connective tissues, two mortal enemies. And if you're smoking cigarettes, you're, you're destroying your connective tissue. That's why you can actually see smokers' face. You know, I don't want to be judgmental or rip on smokers because everybody rips on smokers. But it is definitely not good for your connective tissue. Sugar is not good for your connective tissue either. Um, there's a very important chemical reaction called glycosylation that happens between sugar and connective tissue. It basically destroys connective tissue, ruins the electrical nature of connective tissue. So laying off the sugar is also an, an important strategy as well. All and right. You mentioned the vitamin C. I'm just curious. I know I take the tangy tangerine. Is there any value in ester C? Uh, no, it's expe it's definitely valuable for sure. It's ester C is vitamin C with minerals basically. It's a little easier right. for the body. You know, vitamin C is so well handled, it doesn't really matter. But some people will have a problem with the acid, ascorbic acid, and you don't have to worry about that with ester C. And you do get things like potassium and magnesium and copper in the ester C. So it's probably a better product, but it's just so expensive. It seems doesn't seem to me like it's really worth it unless you have a problem with ascorbic acid. All right, Don. Form you, if you're putting it into a shake or something, that uh, you'd recommend uh, vitamin C. A, a less expensive powdered. Form you don't have vitamin C. Vitamin C? We talk about vitamin C. Vitamin C is really cheap. I wouldn't put it in a smoothie though, because it's just it's acid. It doesn't do doesn't taste good in a smoothie. But just putting a little bit in water and sipping on it or drinking it down is great. Just don't do too much. You'll get all crampy and bloaty or maybe even a little diarrhea. It's great laxative though, vitamin C. All right, Don, right. I gotta move. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to the Bright Side. Check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for our truth skin health products. Have yourselves a one. Wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.